So Black Lives Matter, Global Foundation, as you know, because I broke the story, is a Marxist organization. The three women who run it in California admit they're communists and Marxists. There's no deceit by these women. They tell you exactly who they are. All right. I'll give you an astounding stat right now and write this stat down. Let me get it perfectly positioned for you. Black Lives Matter in the demonstrations after George Floyd was killed, 88% of the 633 violent incidents in America after George Floyd, 88% are recorded as involving Black Lives Matter activists. 88%. And they are now nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. But any nut can nominate anybody if you are in that group. So the nut that did this is named Peter Eide. Okay, he's a Norwegian member of parliament. He, is, he represents the Socialist Left Party. So socialist isn't enough for Peter. That's not enough. It's got to be the Socialist Left Party, left of socialists. Okay, comrade, comrade Eide. So he says, uh, yeah, studies have shown that most of the demonstrations organized by Black Lives Matter have been peaceful. Of course, there have been incidents, but most of them have been caused by the activities of either the police or counter protester. So Peter, who doesn't even live here, okay, he lives in Norway. He said the cops did it, not Black Lives Matter, even though the, the study documented that 88% of them involve Black Lives Matter of the violent incident activists. It's unbelievable. And just to refresh your memory, I don't want to hammer this any more than I have to. Roll the tape. Okay, I mean, there's no doubt. So if the Black Lives Matter gets the uh, Nobel Peace Prize, forget about the Nobel organization ever again having any credibility. They don't have a lot of credibility now. But BLM uh, issued a uh, tweet. Quote, we hold the largest social movement in global history. Today, we have been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. People are waking up to our global call for racial justice and an end to economic injustice, environmental racism, and white supremacy. We're only getting started raised fist. Now, these people are dangerous. They want communism, not socialism. They're way beyond that. But are you going to get that reportage in the, in the media, the corporate media going to tell you that in America? No, they're not. No, they're not.